Did you know that a haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights was used to film an actual movie? Well, let me tell you about Scare Zone the movie. Dr. Strangoy here. Being a fan of Halloween Horror Nights, you're well aware of the creative team using intellectual properties, movies, and TV shows to create the haunted houses at Halloween Horror Nights. However, did you know that once a haunted house was used to film a movie? At Halloween Horror Nights 18 in 2008 at Orlando, Florida, there was an original house called Body Collectors, Collections of the Past. This was set in Victorian London, where the body collectors were using the mass murders of Jack the Ripper to cover up their ghoulish activities. This house was a follow-up to the 2005 Body Collectors house. Body Collectors is an original property created by Universal for Halloween Horror Nights. There is much to tell about the Body Collectors story and they will definitely be featured in a future Dr. Strangoid video. Today, rather than focus on the Body Collectors, we're going to focus on the film Scare Zone that was filmed in the Body Collector's house. But in case you didn't attend or don't remember the details of that house from 2008, let me showcase some of the scenes that were used both in the house and in the movie. J. Michael Roddy, who is the manager of show development for Universal at the time, appeared on a local TV newscast to discuss the body collector's house. Here are some clips from that newscast side by side with some scenes from the Scare Zone movie. We're in Body Collectors, which is one of eight haunted houses or mazes as we like to call them here at Universal. And that's what we like to do is get you lost. What you're in right now is Whitechapel in, in the 1800s. And behind me, you can see one of the body collectors who's waiting, just waiting for that opportunity to snatch you and add you to his collection. One of the things we like to do is little gags. Um, is we actually show up in the mazes sometimes. This is the ILO and Roddy Barber Shop. I'm Roddy and Aiello is actually the director of Bill and Ted, so it's kind of our little nod to each other. Uh, and in any good barber shop, you know, you gotta have the demon barber of Fleet Street. Well, as you can see, this guy's got a full head of hair. Not the best haircut, but what's going on here? I guess he missed. And what's great too is as you come in, there'll be an effect where the guy is actually, the barber's actually moving these levers and we'll actually have these blades that come out and then water that spritzes at you, warm water that makes you feel like you've just been sprayed blood onto. Which is really kind of cool. This is a neat inside look, sneak peek at how we do some of the effects. As you can see, this is a fake leg, but where's the body? The body actually would be played by a live actor who will lay on this table and then put their leg into this hole. Then the pant leg, the actual costume will come over this area, so when it's actually all said and done, it looks like this person is getting their leg cut into. It's the theater. And this is where all the body collectors get the opportunity to watch. It's a theater. Um, as you can see, all the body collectors are surrounding you. And then all of these characters, you hear the sound of them clapping. The Body Collector's house was located in Soundstage 20, which is a great setting to film a movie as the soundstage was originally designed to film TV and movies. While a soundstage is great for filming a movie, the director had many challenges to overcome. First, the film crew was on a tight schedule as they only had 18 days inside the haunted house in which they were allowed to film. And second, if you have ever seen a haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights, you're well aware that many of the hallways and rooms are pretty confined spaces. This was a challenge to the film crew. In addition to filming at the Universal Soundstage, they also filmed at Celebration Florida, Lake Eola in downtown Orlando, Greenwood Cemetery,
one year. A Christmas to remember in the Florida Mall. Um, Sandy. Sandy. You know, it looks like our mom is really sick and I'm gonna have to leave early. And Landscape Supply Company on Orange Blossom Trail. So, how would I describe the movie itself? I would call it a well-acted, popcorn fun, low-budget, slasher, whodunit movie with great sound, lighting, and camera work. And, of course, the set design is amazing, as it's from a haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights. I don't want to discuss the plot of the movie, because even though this film is 10 years old, I'm trying to avoid spoilers of this little hidden gem you might not have seen yet, due to it being filmed in the body collector's house at Halloween Horror Nights in my opinion, this is a must-watch film for the Halloween Horror Nights fan. So, look at the links below to either buy the DVD or stream the movie, and then come back and let me know what you thought about the Scare Zone movie filmed at Halloween Horror Nights.